The meeting comes at a critical point for the two countries' domestic politics. Why did it take place and what kind of impact can we expect? Kim Do-yeon turned to some experts for their insights. The first summit between the U.S. and China on the Biden's administration took place after the U.S. reached out to Beijing. However, this was a much-needed discussion for both countries' domestic politics, not just the U.S. I think the Biden administration saw the need to reassemble the relationship with China prior to midterms. Most of all, President Xi Jinping, who is set to serve three consecutive terms, believes that he can stably implement his domestic politics by managing the conflict with the United States. One key aspect that many around the world expected to touch upon was the military presence in the Taiwanese Strait. And going into the summit, the Chinese government acknowledged the issue as one of the key items to be addressed amid prolonged tensions between the two. During the summit, the U.S. acknowledged the one-China policy as it has been doing for decades. And while this could be seen as just a formality, experts say it needs more understanding. This could help reduce uh, reassurances like those could help reduce chances for miscalculation, which on the Taiwan issue could have major uh, and grave consequences for the relationship. I don't expect any breakthroughs on Taiwan, but it will be very important, I think, for the two leaders to better understand each other's positions and how each of them assess the issue. And I think that in itself could be helpful. In terms of South Korea, experts agree that a better relationship between the two major economic powerhouses will be beneficial to the country. While economically, South Korea depends heavily on China, for most part, U.S. ROK relations have greater weight. It's hard to take one side, but I guess it's more appropriate to cooperate with the U.S. for sharing similar values and ideologies. At the same time, we have to promote so-called multilateral diplomacy, but still we have to strengthen our relations with our allies and neighbors that share similar values. Without these efforts, it will be difficult for us to solve issues like shortages of urea solution on our own. In the meantime, the experts also agree that the fact that nuclear issues on the Korean peninsula were addressed during the three-and-a-half-hour discussion was a positive sign for Seoul. Recognition of the situation on the peninsula will give a welcome boost to Seoul as they try to maintain peace in the region. Kim Do-hyun, Arirang News.